All right, folks. How's it going? So, um, after I got the dragon disc drive working here, uh, I wasn't really sure how I was going to put some programs onto the discs. So, one option was to actually plug physically plug the drive into. Uh, uh, an old PC via the floppy cable um, which I have still actually to try but that's one option um, it's a whole lot of hassle but I have an old PC up in the attic which I can use hopefully um, to plug in the Dragon disk drive um, I can see it there so that's one option is to plug that into an OPC and use some software on the PC to convert and burn uh, disk images straight onto the floppies. But as I was searching on the internet, I found this program. Um, it's called Jubilee Disk. And what it allows you to do is to load a cassette into memory um, and then save it on the disk. So it's made by uh, Quickbeam Software in 1986 if you can see that on the screen there. Sorry about the flicker. Uh, yeah so this was an officially released way of parrot and stuff basically back in 1986. Uh, now I've had mixed results some stuff it will load fine and other stuff it will just refuse to load so I don't know exactly why with some of it um, I was having a look at the documentation that comes with this software and it can throw up a tape loading error if the program is too big um, and if it does that sometimes it will give you different uh, options of what way you want to write it the disc um, but none of them seem to work basically if it doesn't work first go it's not going to work from my experience so far so I'll give a bit of a demonstration here if I can um, on how this works um, so you it's uh, sitting waiting for a tape or a game from tape, a program from tape. Um, so I will just find something here that I know works and I'll give you a demonstration. So if I press any key as you can see um, it's now searching for uh, the program so if I press play on my cassette this is uh, Chucky Egg which is one that I have previously put on the disc. So hopefully it should work again. So there you can see a uh, tape file name uh, CH Egg and the name that it will put on the program when it puts it to disc is the same. And it tells you there that it's a non auto run program which means I have to type in a, in a execute command once it's loaded. So I'm not uh, torture you with the whole loading process here. I will uh, edit that part out and I'll come back when it's ready to burn to disk. Okay, so that's it loaded in. So um, I'll just move the camera down so it's looking at the disk drive. So press any key to see the disk. And that's it, writing to the disk there. So when you uh, have it, or when it's finished writing the disk, you have the option to write another copy. If you write another copy, it saves it as a .bak file or a backup file. So we don't want to do that. So there's it ready to accept the next game. So I'm going to turn off the dragon here. 
because we need to unload the Jubilee disk program from memory and if we go into the directory of our disk here so if you can see there I have uh, Chuck the Egg and the King which is Donkey Kong basically so we should uh, load ch-egg.bin so it seems to save them all to a bin file and that's it loaded so if we type exec which is our execute command and there's chucky egg loaded so yeah, a very nifty piece of software indeed. Um, like I said, it doesn't work with everything. Um, but I have loaded up quite a few games on the disc here. That's just the first disc that I've done. I have this disc full, there's maybe room for one more game on it. So there's basically there's about two hours worth of tape loading on this disc and each game takes about five seconds to load from disc so definitely impressed um, like I said I'm limited to exactly what I can copy to it copy the disc but so far I've got quite a few cool things to work um, I've got Donkey Kong and Chuck the Egg to work which is absolutely brilliant so let's uh, check the egg all working there so yeah that's really about it we just uh, thought I would make a quick video showing off this piece of software um, that was officially released for the Dragon that allows you to copy tapes across on the disc. Um, yeah, it did get a retail release um, but you know it obviously wasn't endorsed by Dragon themselves. I wouldn't like to think so. Um, you couldn't see something like this appearing nowadays that allows you to copy you know load a PlayStation 4 game into memory and copy it to another disc this sort of thing just wouldn't happen nowadays uh, it's allowed me to get my first load of stuff copied to floppy disk basically so that's it guys, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.